Hi there, if you acquire a new Intel hybrid processor and you're facing this problem that all your tasks are running in the efficiency core that is the cores with the low clock speed, uh, stay tuned because I might give you the solution to your problem. So recently I acquired a new computer. It's a fantastic computer. You can see here that it has this new architecture, the Intel. Uh, hybrid architecture and you're really reading it right 24 cores it's fantastic beautiful computer i strongly recommend it but i have been facing a problem since i acquired this computer like three or four months ago I have been facing the problem that my tasks they are not performing very well it's very low the cloud speed even when compared with my previous computer they go they go much slower. So I did a lot of benchmarking and spent a lot of time. And I think I found the solution. And just to show you here, let me move to the tab. So this is the, the Intel tab that I have here. This is the processor. It's a fantastic, it's a crazy processor. As you see, you have a maximum speed for up to 5.6 and 24 cores. And you have to be careful about this because when I was buying this computer, I realized that I knew a little bit that it was an hybrid architecture. So you have what, what, what they call performance cores and efficiency cores. So the performance cores are those that go high speed, and then you have the efficiency cores, the ones that go a low speed. So my question was, okay, how the operating system it is controlling that? So there is something called Intel hybrid director, no, Intel track director that is controlling that. You can find now as you Google that or search that in, in the internet, you can find uh, a lot of information about that. But that Intel Threat Director, it is only Windows and also the software vendors are working with Intel, Windows and so on just to get it working. But as you can imagine, not every application is working. Is it, you have it implemented there. So sometimes it might happen problems. In my case, I do a lot of software development and my application, I compile my application. So those applications were having problems. Then some other very specific applications. So I work also a lot of with virtualization, being aware, uh, Windows existing Linux, and also was having some problems there. But talking about the productivity applications, all those applications, the operating system, everything working works fine. Even the, those applications for creators, Adobe and video editing, even solid modeling, and also have been doing some CAD. All that stuff, it works well. But then you have your applications, your outliers, a little bit out of the box, and then you have problems. And just to show you here, I'm running something background. And as you can see here, I already know, so to show you, there is this fantastic application. I recommend you the HW monitor. So here you can see your cores, and here I have this list, and I have all my performance cores. So I know that that the core from 0 to 7, these are my performance cores, and then the rest are efficiency cores. So also just to point out that these are threaded, so there is import threading, so you have 16. Okay, so they are not shown, shown here, but later we're going to see why you need to know that. But it's important that from 0 to 15, which will be the, the performance plus the portrait, okay, you have those cores there, and then you have the efficiency cores that will be from 16 to 31. I am adding another, another row here, you can see it here. So knowing this, and when I look at the task manager, I precisely know that this two rows correspond to my performance and the rows here corresponds to deficiency cores. And whatever I'm running right now, I know that everything here is running my efficiency core. I can see that my, by my clock speed. So this is what, what was killing me. All my applications, so I do a lot of scientific computing, uh, machine learning as well. And I was running my normal applications and everything was running here. Okay, so what was the problem? It was killing me. I was to the point that I almost sent back the computer. So finally, I think I found the solution probably to 95, 96 was the problem. Then have those small cases that since doesn't work. But at this point, I'm quite happy. And this is not a problem of the computer above. It is a computer of the Intel processor. So it doesn't matter what computer you have, even a laptop notebook uh, or a desktop, you will, you, you will deal, deal with this problem.
So in reality, what you would like to have is that task running full time in this list. And just to show you now how it should run. Okay, so now I made and a small modification later, I'm going to show you what is the issue, but look at it now, all those processes, you know, the tasks, they move now to this road. So you have something else running here in efficiency. I know that I'm recording this. I have the WordPress, uh, the, the web recording, web browser, I made many applications running background, but I know that all these tasks that are running here precisely corresponds to that performance task that I want to have the high clock speed. So this is what it was driving me crazy. And hopefully I will show you the solution that mainly are related. This is way to solve this are related to the operating system, going to Zoom system, uh, auctions and windows that I will show you, but there are many ways to do it. So this is a way to, to solve this problem is by disabling all this efficiency course. This is a brutal one or the easiest one is you do this, please give me your money because you are throwing your money back. You want this, this computer because you, you are good, if you're interested in, in this performance. So you are throwing basically your, your money away. So don't do that, but you can do it in the BIOS. I'm not going to explore that solution. I'm going to explore you some other solutions. So at this point, let me show you the possible solutions to, to the problem of the task running efficiency in course uh, after this list, you can stop watching and we can get offended. So I will give you eight possible solutions. There are more solutions for that, but I think these are the, the, the ones that work, work the best. So the first one I already mentioned that you can disable the efficiency course in the bios. Okay. So you do this, please send me the money because you are throwing that money away. Um, I will give that money to charity. So just let me know what is your, the charity of your prefer, uh, preference. So the other solution is that you can use this utility, Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. It's a fantastic tool, but be careful. Use it at your own risk. So later I will show you a little bit of these this, this tools and possible solutions. Just here, you're, I am just enumerating. Then the other solution is disable CP, CPU throttling. And probably I think this is the mo most problematic one because usually C C CPU throttling is en energy saving. So if you have a task that is consuming a lot, it's going to be moved to, to, a, to a saving mode. So usually the web browser or those applications, they run efficiently, but it might happen that whatever you're running, you are doing, it will start to run efficiency mode. So that is related to CPU tr throttling and you can do that system wise or application wise. So you can disable that entirely in your operating system or application by application. The other possible solution is change the power mode to best performance. So usually by default it is set in, in balance mode. Later we're going to see that as you know, but set the, the performance mode to best performance, the power mode was performing and also be be prepared because the fan is going to kick in and it's going to be very, very noisy, but you know what you're getting with this processor. Then the other possible solution will be, and this is specific for those using uh, virtual machines like VMware, virtual Mux, virtual box, you can specify the core affinity in the configuration file of those specific utilities. Okay. This is not related to operating system of the VMware or virtual box. Later, we're going to see that. And this, uh, core affinity is not the same. And this one, this next solution, that is a very good solution. Also, we can set the process CPU affinity. So I used to work a lot in Linux and in Linux, I was having this problem from time to time that you can bind and a specific task to a specific processor. It is the same case here as you're having the problem and you can get an idea where I'm going with this. So you know that you have, for instance, all these cores here, sonar efficiency, sonar performance, and you can say specifically, okay, I want to run this task using this processor. So that is possible. I not recommend it, but once it says that it can be done. So similar to the one in the virtual machines. The other option, okay, and we're getting, to the top of this list is set process priority. Okay. And this is similar to the affinity, but this one, it has more relevance. And this one, basically you are telling that this task, it has priority over any of the other tasks. 
So this can be done if you, if you are a Linux user, probably you're familiar with nice, really nice utilities. You can do so, something similar in, in Windows. You set the priority to high and that's all. You solve the problems and maybe you can imagine that the next solution will be forcing all the previous uh, solution, but also this one, simply by running the task as an administrator. So this is as simple as right click in the icon and just to show you, Okay, you go here, right click, run as administrator. And in my experience, because I experienced this problem a lot, I have to say that 90% of the time, of the times it will solve your problem. Not 98, 97, 98%, 99% of the time it will solve the problem, problems. And then you have those outliers no applications that you need to dig a little bit more. So this is the solution to the problem. You can stop watching the video here because you know that run as an administrator, but you have different uh, options. And finally, just to end here and to add something that it doesn't it doesn't classify, classify as a solution, but just to mention that I didn't say anything about Windows existing Linux, okay? But be, be be sure to to have the latest version and also the latest update, it helps a lot. So there are some issues with Windows existing Linux, but I think with this latest update, it solves all the issues. It works very well, and actually I use it a lot. I use VMware and Windows existing Linux, and it works very well. Uh, if you are having problems with priority, you not know, using Windows existing Linux or Linux, I already mentioned that you can use nice or, or re nice. Okay, those tricks like setting affinity and so on, using you know, the task manager in Windows, that, that is what I'm going to show you, doesn't work. So you need to use the specific Linux command. Very important, disable Hyper-V, okay, that is the virtualization of Windows. Disable that because it doesn't work well if you're using Windows existing Linux or being where it might give you problems. Uh, another oh, that you have, uh, you have to be careful also about this, that do not minimize Windows. And this is this is quite funny that one of the problems that I will fi uh, was finding that sometimes I minimize something and boom, I lose in performance. I basically everything resort to the fact that you are losing priorities. When you minimize a, uh, minimize a window, the priority is lower. And we have seen that you want always to have that maximum priority. So have those windows, those tasks running, do not minimize that. Uh, also very important, disable screen saver and do not uh, turn off the, the screen. Uh, also uh, disable sleep mode. Uh, do not use battery K mode. Sometimes in some computers you have those applications and just to show you for instance in the one i'm using i have battery battery care mode and if i enable this it is going to give me problems so it was really tricky to uh to track that one and if you are using intel uh tuning extreme tuning be careful because sometimes it, it can slow down your computer so if you think that this tool of intel is the culprit when install it but be careful also I already mentioned that use it at your own risk because you can use this to overclock and you can do a lot of you can damage your your your, your computer and i think there's no need to mention that do not unplug your computer from the electric network that means i'm saying here that do not run with battery because you're running in battery everything is going to go into efficiency and it's going to slow down so yeah these are this is the list and some comments. And now just let me show you a few of these possible solutions, uh, how, how to work it out.